Yeah, I mean, th this is something that I think that, you know, very few of us are aware of. And like, you know, Christopher said, there's a very simplistic labelling that obviously is there for a reason. But we don't eat nutrients. We don't even just eat single foods. We eat meals. We have dietary patterns. And so it's really important to think of what foods we're having as well as what nutrients. And when we think about our food, the matrix of our food. So I'll explain a little bit um, in a minute what I mean by that. And so something that we should be aware of, how we respond to our food is determined by many factors of the food. It's determined by what other nutrients are in the food. So how we might respond to the carbohydrate might be determined by how much protein there is or fat there is, or how we respond to certain minerals or vitamins will be determined by how many other vitamins or minerals or the amount of other vitamins and minerals. So these nutrient nutrient interactions are really important. And again, by looking just simply at calories and back of pack labeling, it doesn't allow us to really untangle any of that. We also know that the mixture of foods within a meal is really important. And one food can determine how another food uh, impacts us. Um, and this is really explains why we often see huge differences between countries in the um, health outcomes related to diets, where if you looked at the nutrients between countries, they're quite sim similar. But if you look at the dietary patterns and the foods, they're vastly different. And something that's a, a favorite topic of mine is the food matrix effect. So this is all about how the composition of the food, about the cell wall structure, the cell wall integrity, about the other nutrients that are in there, and how that ultimately impacts our health and, and the energy value of the food. And food processing affects all of this. So food processing predominantly affects the food matrix, and I'm going to show you an example of this in a minute. It will affect the different the levels of nutrients, the bioaccessibility of the nutrients, and ultimately how we respond to that food. And so by looking just at the macronutrients, it's only telling us like a little snapshot, one piece of the puzzle of really about that food. And we're actually missing, imagine it's like a thousand uh, piece puzzle. In my opinion, the back of pack labeling or the nutrient composition and the calories tells us one piece of a thousand piece puzzle. 